It's that time of year again, friends. Here's my filmmaker holiday gift guide for 2023. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. All right, let's dive in. Here are my top five holiday gift suggestions for that filmmaker or YouTuber in your life. Or if that filmmaker is you and mom has been bugging you for a list, you can just send her this video and thank me later. Links for all these items are in the description. So we're starting off with lower priced gifts and working our way up. Here we go. Number five, a Gorillapod phone mount. If you're taking some quick video on your phone, you can make it look way better if you use a tripod. And in my opinion, the best mini tripods are the Joby Gorillapods. They're virtually indestructible, and I guarantee you the Joby Gorillapod is the kind of thing that will stay in your kit forever. A strong one that's a great size for phones is the 500 Flexible Mini Tripod, which in the link in my description is bundled with the Izuma smartphone mount, which can hold your phone both horizontally or vertically. The Joby 500 Flexible Mini Tripod holds phones or cameras weighing up to one pound, and you can position it like a traditional tripod, or if you need to get up high, you can curl it around a pole or a tree. It works nicely on uneven surfaces. All in all, it's a big upgrade for not a lot of cash, especially if you're vlogging. And bonus, it fits nicely in a big stocking. Number four, a Loa Pro Tahoe 150 backpack. All right, I already own two Loa Pro camera backpacks. And when I saw this one, I had to stop myself from buying a third. Because the truth is, I don't need a third. But this little 150 is literally the perfect size. It's perfect. The Low Pro Tahoe is easily customizable and it can hold a camera with a lens attached and a GoPro and a battery charger and extra batteries and cards and a tablet if you want. I should mention that my Low Pros are the most comfortable camera backpacks I own. The straps are awesome. All in all, the Low Pro camera backpacks are all durable and really well designed. They distribute the bag weight evenly, so much so that sometimes you forget you have a camera backpack on your back. The Loa Pro Tahoe 150 also has two mesh pockets on each side for a water bottle or an umbrella and additional straps to stick a mini tripod in. There's a pocket in the front for your cards and lens cap and a middle pocket for your iPad. The main section has dividers to keep your camera and lens steady and your batteries and charger from rattling around. And it has a nice little upper zipped pocket here for cords and card readers. It comes in both black and blue. So if you're looking for the perfect size, durable, reliable, comfortable, somewhat stylish little camera backpack, the Loa Pro Tahoe 150 is it. And if I didn't already own two bigger ones, I'd have this one too. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I still might get it. Number three, a two terabyte SanDisk external hard drive. I said this last year and I'll say it again this year, a portable hard drive is the one gift that every filmmaker always needs. We always need more storage to back up projects, to transfer projects, to edit on the go, to edit on the school computer, then bring that edit back to the home computer. And my favorite one right now is the SanDisk Extreme Portable USB 2 terabyte. I have a few of these SanDisks and they are so tiny, lightweight and durable. And I have never had one conk out on me or give me any trouble. Not only that, I teach a total of four college film classes each semester, and I ask my students to get one of these, and not a single student has ever had any issues. So even though a hard drive may seem basic, to a filmmaker, a reliable hard drive is anything but basic. Number two, the Glide Gear Teleprompter. All right, so if you're a YouTuber or your friend is a YouTuber and they wanna take their videos up a notch, a teleprompter is the way to go. Speaking off the cuff can be nice, but the time that you spend in the edit cutting out your mistakes is about the same amount of time you're gonna be spending writing a script. And the latter option will get you a better product. 
My absolute favorite consumer teleprompter is the Glidegear iPad smartphone teleprompter. It's the one that I use and I have used it for years. It's super easy. It can be used with an iPhone or an iPad and all you need to do is attach it to your tripod, put your camera on one side, put the velvet around your lens so no light gets in, put your iPad with your script and a teleprompting app on the other side. I use Prompt Smart Pro, which also has a free version and voila, you sound like a pro. A teleprompter makes you look like you know what you're saying and every YouTuber wants to look like they know what they're saying. All right, we've come to number one. And I know this is quite a price jump, but I have to go there because sometimes Santa can be really generous. Number one, the Canon EOS R8 mirrorless camera bundled with an RF 24 to 50 millimeter lens. As mentioned in some of my other videos, I love, love, love the Canon cameras and lenses. I shoot all of my projects on them with an occasional Nikon Z6 exception. The Canon R8 is a great camera. It's the best budget full frame mirrorless camera currently out there in my opinion. Here's a list of what makes this camera the best bet for the price. It has a small compact body, a flip out LCD touchscreen, dual pixel autofocus 2 with eye detection, which is the best autofocus system out there in my opinion, better than Nikon's. It's full frame 4K up to 60 frames per second, up to two hours of record time, 120 frames per second slow-mo at 1920 by 1080 with no audio. It has a digital hot shoe on the top, allowing you to use the compatible mic up there without any additional cords. And it's compatible with some of the best lenses out there, the Canon RF series. Also of note, when this camera came out, the price for the body alone was $1,500. Now you can get it bundled with a great starter lens for that price. Let's talk about the lens for a minute. So a 24 to 50 is a good range for vloggers, as well as someone looking to shoot street videography. The lens also has optical image stabilization, helping to make those moving shots more stable, and it's compact and super lightweight. P.S. If you want to spend $1,000 more and get a little bit better battery life, two card slots, a little bit better camera image stabilization, go for the EOS R6, which is the one that I use. But for the price, the EOS R8 is my top recommendation for filmmakers, recent grads, wedding videographers, YouTubers, and even the seasoned pro who needs a handy backup mirrorless that shoots 4K. Okay, that's it for this one. I hope you all have a great holiday, however you may be spending it. And I also wanna take this opportunity to thank you guys and gals for being here. For all of your supportive comments, your questions, or even when you just pop in to say hi, I seriously always look forward to reading my comments. Knowing that I'm helping you guys is the best. Never gets old. All right, so thank you for that and my best wishes to you for a peaceful and harmonious new year. If you like this list, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.